All right, so I can see a lot of people, a lot of ones. Great. Uh, my name is Gaurav Madan, and I, on behalf of my partner, Saurav Bhatnagar, I'm hosting this webinar for you guys. So, guys, I am Gaurav, just to uh, make sure that everybody knows my name. Okay, great. Some of the people are saying that uh, they cannot see my desktop yet. Yeah, so I haven't shared my desktop yet, so I'll just share in a while. Okay, great. So, so guys, uh, just quickly, if I may know, which part of the world are you talking from? I'm Gaurav from India, and that's where I'm residing in right now, taking the webinar from. Uh, where are you guys joining me from? Just let me know. So we have uh, Neil from North California, Marshall from Wellington, uh, Raymond from Finland, Daniel from Mount Montana, I'm in Florida. Florida is this, you know, it's a great beach area. Costa Rica, London, nice. Croatia, we have Toronto, amazing, amazing. So we have people joining us from uh, a lot of parts, I mean, almost all across the globe, Taiwan, Germany. Welcome everybody, welcome to the call. So guys, first of all, uh, what we are going to learn today is, I'll brief you on the agenda. We're going to talk about interactive videos too. I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how uh, you can go ahead and really uh, build funnels inside interactive video too, video funnels, and how you can deploy it on your website. So that's the main agenda of the call. All right, and uh, I'm going to head over to demonstration in just a second. So, if in case you are having any trouble whatsoever, uh, feel free to drop your queries to uh, you know support at the rate .com. That's our official email for support. You can always drop if you're having any kind of issues whatsoever. Just drop an email, and our customer representatives would get in touch with you. So my, uh, just a clear reminder that uh, the support timings here for us is, uh, you could say that we start at 10 a.m. in the morning, 10 a.m. IST, and we work till 6 p.m. IST. So that's our support timings, all right? And uh, very soon we are going to go ahead uh, that, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to introduce more support options in future. So for now, that's our support timings, uh, Monday to Friday. That's our support, entire support. All right, so that's a little introduction about support and everything, any kind of issues you may be having. You can mail it to us, and we'll get back to you. On the other front, uh, so guys, what we have to do is we have to go ahead and log in to uh, Interactive Video Suit. By now, you should be able to see my screen. If you are able to see my screen right now, give me a one into the chat box, please. You should be able to see my screen now. Great, so I can see lots of ones. Uh, so Oliver, all right, Oliver is also able to see our screen now, great. So to begin with, so guys, the URL of the application is www.ivasapp.com slash login. So that's the URL which we have with us, all right. So now I would go ahead and log into the screen. So let's just go ahead and log in. So we have it right here with us. Now you can go ahead and see my screen. This is this is the very first part of our dashboard. How it looks like is you could go ahead and get started. You could view, view the tutorials here right away. Other than that, you could go ahead and contact support desk. If you have any issues whatsoever, just feel free to reach out to us. We have analytics for the projects with the advanced food tracker technology which I'm going to demonstrate in this webinar to you. And then you have viewing all your projects. Uh, if you have any kind of feature requests, feel free to reach out to us. And then uh, you could also go ahead and manage your own account, reset your password, and do other things. So the, the, this is a normal area. On top, what you could see is you could see training videos, you could see analytics tabs, and you could also see the projects. Okay, so these are the things which you can see right now on the dashboard, all right? I hope this is pretty clear, pretty easy to understand. Uh, we have very limited options, and you can clearly see on the screen. So to begin with, guys, what we have to do with Interactive Video Suit 
to begin with, we have to go ahead and first create our own project. Like even before actually going into the project creation and demonstration of the entire dashboard, I would go, like to go ahead and let, brief you a little bit about interactive video suit. What are the powers of interactive video suit? Why would interactive video suit be a powerful or a lethal weapon in your marketing? So in normal videos have actually become a little boring because there have been tons and tons of tremendous content being uploaded every single minute to YouTube. So that is the reason why we need something which is a little bit more innovative, something which can actually break the clutter, something which will actually make the videos more like a conversation, more like a storytelling, more like a guided you know, walkthrough approach. In this manner, what we are able to do is we are able to communicate the right message to the right set of audience. And this is the reason why we actually built interactive video suit or why this interactive video suit was even built. All right. So now I have tons of projects with me. I hope you by now you understand the objective of interactive video suit is to make the boring videos or convert the boring videos into actually interesting videos. So that is the objective of interactive video suit. All right. So now when we know the objective, let's go into the functioning of it. So guys, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop into the chat box. Once I finish the basic demonstration, then we'll move over to cook Q&A session and I'll be able to answer all your questions. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about this. We have all the things right here. So you could see I, I, you know, a couple of things here. So we have one of the videos uh, which I could actually show you, which we did for the launch itself, which even you saw. And we have some spectacular things here. We only had two portions of the videos just to demonstrate. And we also had a couple of analytics, which we are going to learn uh, with as and when we progress into the session. All right, so these are some of the stats which you could see on the screen. They're still uh, loading a bit. Okay, that's here. So this is one of the project stats, uh, which you can see uh, how one of the videos converted for us with almost 8% conversion rate. The conversion rate was high until unless we closed off the sales and then the conversion rate started dropping. So anyways, this is one of the videos which you could see. We have a couple of others as well in progress and in funnels right now built and already executed. So I'll walk you through all these things. So let's go and let's talk about the project creation. So very first thing, very first thing what you could do is you could go ahead and first create a new project. You could go into projects and there would be an option to create a new project right here. Okay, so all you have to do is go to projects, click on new project and you will be on the screen right there. And what you could do is you could actually go ahead and build a funnel right away. For example, let's say I am going to build a funnel for LinkedIn Must Plus. Or rather let's say, uh, let's build a funnel for maybe, I will just show videos right now. So let's say I'm doing a review video. Okay. So let's say go ahead and create one video here. We have this right here. So by default, there would be a thumbnail given to the video or the project you would be creating. So now let's go ahead and click on edit project. Once you have created the project, just go ahead and click on edit the project. Okay. So now we are here. Right now, you could see it's pretty easy, and uh, you can clearly see that we have the interface available to us, available to make interactive videos, videos which will convert higher than normal videos, which will engage the users, and which will actually make a dent in the competitor's mind because you're using a superior technology. So, so very first thing you could see it works in three parts. One thing is you got to add the video, then you have to set up the interaction layers. These are nothing but a layer kind of thing on, on top of it. You will actually go ahead and put elements, which would be interactive elements. And then uh, you have some project settings wherein while at the time of publishing, you could go ahead and give a name to the project. You could autoplay or you could have a thumbnail and you could uh, even make it a responsive project or a fixed project only for desktop. So this is what we have in place on the front screen. To begin with, you have to first add the video.
all right so first what we have to do is go ahead and first we have to add a video to add a video all we have to do is either we could go ahead and have a YouTube video right here or we could have our own mp4 file and then we could go ahead and upload it to uh, something which is Amazon S3 so we're using Amazon S3 account wherein you could actually upload your mp4 videos to our Amazon S3 account and those compressed videos works really great with it with interactive videos too. so either of the cases both will be really good is there a limit to the size of the video we can upload uh, I would recommend uploading videos which are less than 100 MB that's what we would be my recommendation uh, Vimeo is not available as an option okay Vimeo in itself has some form of interactive technology to be used but the business plans are really really costly uh, that is why Vimeo does not really allow us to actually put interactive elements on top of it so I would always suggest you know if you really want to go ahead and not have YouTube video so uh, Gary what I would recommend is just try and uploading an mp4 video file directly to the Amazon web server instead of uploading it to YouTube that way you would be able to upload it directly to S3 and your videos would never have the YouTube logo as well it works really smooth so let's go ahead and talk about this now let's add so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube and we're going to search for some videos and we're going to build up one complete video right away okay so I'll have my channel I'll go into the videos so I have a couple of good videos here already you could see a couple of videos are here uh, which you could see now I have one two three four five I have already uploaded five videos this was a JV video which we built for interactive video soup and what I'm going to do is I'm going to again go ahead and demonstrate with this particular video right away we can even go ahead and demonstrate with the help of uh, tutorials I can even do that if you want okay let's do tutorials instead instead of just doing the demo video because demo video we have already done so what I would do is I would go ahead and do the entire tutorials in an interactive format all right so what we'll do is first of all we'll go ahead and add a YouTube video we'll give the name of the video let's say tutorials and we're going to say this is tutorials intro so I'm going to go ahead and build a dynamic intro set of videos for the interactive video suit and I'm going to put it right in the uh, in, in training itself all right so that's something which I can do easily so I'll go ahead and do it now all right so we go ahead and now we take first video which is IVS dashboard walkthrough so we're going to go and grab the URL here okay and I could see that I'm not sure if this is a locked video or not I would need to watch over here okay this is a public video great so now we are going to go ahead and just put the video YouTube here and do it right here at the video and you could see very first video tutorials intro is loaded and it's right here on top okay so we have it right here on top the very first video has been added onto the timeline this is the timeline which you could see all right now next thing which I'm going to do is now we could go ahead and take the next video I'm going to go ahead and let's say it is going to be uh, right so we have interactive layers and elements then part one part two and then publishing okay so next thing which I'm going to say is interactive layer and elements let's again add in video and we're going to say interactive layer and we'll go ahead and say interactive layer and elements okay all right and we're going to do the part one right away we're going to take this video go ahead and add this video we're going to remove the timestamp 
just make sure you are taking the right URL. You should not really have the timestamps in between. So that could cause a little trouble if uh, you know you have the timestamps with the YouTube videos. Just make it a naked URL, and also don't include the playlist URL. Instead, just go ahead and use this particular URL, which is a single video URL. All right. So we go ahead and add that video now. So that is the second video which we have with us: interactive layer and elements. Then we'll have the part two. Uh, we'll take this in continuation. And we'll go ahead and we'll take again YouTube and we'll have this interactive layer part two. We'll add the video. Then again, we'll go ahead and we'll use the publishing style. We'll say now you have to publish the video. So, what I've done is I've already taken now four parts of the video and I've inserted right now into this interactive video project. Already? To actually reload and actually do some creativity on this part. Now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and first go ahead and say edit the video. So, very first thing is set the first video. Okay, you've got to go ahead and say edit the video. All right, so now we're done. We are here and we say edit the video. You could see it says name, and then there is no interaction layer so far. So, what we did is first is add the video. Step number two is add interaction layers. Step number three is add elements. Step number four is do the basic project settings. Step number five is publish the project. So these are first five steps, first basic five steps which you need to take care of. So far, what we have done is we have added and loaded our videos into the dashboard. Now the next part which we have to do is we have to go ahead and we have to create a new interaction layer. We go ahead and create a new interaction layer. So what we have to do is we quickly go ahead and load interaction layer and we'll say this is the intro interaction layer, the very first layer. Okay, if you want to keep things simple, you could say first layer, second layer, third layer. I remember the names, so that is why a little uh, better thing in this. <coughs> so let me just see. Somebody is saying that they can see, see me, but they're not able to see my screen. So, Alison, uh, let me go ahead and you know refresh my screen, and maybe then you are able to see me. Let me just do that. I'll go ahead and just try to refresh. So, I just did a refresh to my screen, and I hope now you should be able to see my uh, screen. Okay. Now, when once we do give the name of the interaction layer. Then we go ahead and we say add interaction layer. Now, so guys, now what you have to do is, now what we have to do is, we have to go ahead and we have to put the interaction layer. And normally, guys, what we do is we put the interaction layer towards the end. What we do is we put the interaction layer towards the end. All right. So what we do is we are going to go ahead into interaction layer and we're going to say that put the layer a color, and I'm going to use a little uh, bluish color on top of my video because I have this color, and then we could set some transparency to it. You could see that's a little bit of transparency. What we could do now, once we have done that, we are going to say, okay, our interaction layer is set. Now we would need to set a time of the interaction layer. What we have to do is we have to set up an interaction layer show time. When do you want to show the interaction layer? And normally, what we tend to do is we tend to take it all the way to the back, towards the end of the first video, and give towards the end of the video we give users some choices to make that what they they really want to actually opt, opt for. So I'm going to go ahead and all the way towards the end. So I am on three minutes four seconds, and the video length is right now three minutes fourteen seconds. I'm going to go ahead and say set interaction layer show time. Now I've clicked on that, and the interaction layer show time would be right there. Now what we have is we could see we have this interaction layer right here, and we have the timestamp as 184 seconds. Okay. Other than that, what we have to do is we have to set this video as the start video. What we have to do is we have to go ahead and 
I mean, take this video as start video. That means this is going to be the starting video for our particular VSL or any kind of video, whatever you're doing. All right. So, uh, guys, now Saurabh is also here with us. I'll just quickly uh, make sure that okay, Saurabh is also here with us. All right, great. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about this. So, Saurabh, uh, I'll give you the mic in a second, and then you can take over. In the meanwhile, let me just give them a look of interaction layers first. Okay. So, so guys, once we have set up the interaction layers, uh, then what we could do is we could go ahead. And now, after the interaction layers, we could go ahead and set the elements. Now, we could go ahead and move to step number three, which is setting up our interactive elements on top of our interactive videos. So, we go ahead and say a new element. Either we could do a button, or we could do a text, or we could have a clickable image. This is one of my favorites. Clickable image and call to actions are one of my personal favorites. Then we have static image, and then we have hotspots. Now, hotspots are also really awesome stuff. If you tend to make it more engaging, more interactive, you could even use hotspots as well. Now, a lot of times I've seen in like big companies like uh, Netflix and a couple of other big, uh, you know, sports companies using hotspot technology as well. Wherein mostly in the cricket matches, if you may have seen. They have certain hotspots or dots where if you go towards that dot, there is certain kind of event which has been highlighted. Now this is I have seen this in Hotstar, uh, then I have seen this in Netflix, I've seen this in ESPN, uh, I've seen this you know technology being used in a lot of good companies. So they have their own built software for it, and they actually use it like for their own in-house custom built softwares. But this is a similar technology. But you can now you have in your hands, and you can also use to impress a lot of people, your customers predominantly. So, so let's go ahead and talk about. Let's go ahead. First, we'll add a text here. Okay, we'll take the text and we'll edit the text now. First thing is, let's say I'm going to say choose next. All right, that's what I'm going to say. And I'm going to give them an option, like choose what you want to do now. All right, so we're going to have this option right here. And the color combination will have to make it a little better, little better. We'll go ahead and we'll do a little better color combination. We could do an orange, anything which is more lighter color, we could go ahead and do that. Uh, normally, I am, I am like my favorite is white color. You have the entire color dashboard here, which you can use. So I'll go ahead and use the white color. All right. So I'll say choose what you want to do now. Now you could go ahead and have a little bit bigger size as well, but I would advise you to keep the size as nominal. No need to keep it very big. That's absolutely a good size, 18 pixel. Now once you have done the first element, the first element is done. Uh, we could go ahead. And we could go to back to elements. And now we can add a new element. And we could see that we could add a clickable image. All right. And we could go ahead and say, we could say interactive layer. That's what I'm going to say. Now I could have an image. OK. I could have an image. Now normally what you could do is you could go ahead and build your images. What I would suggest is always use PNG images which don't have backgrounds. So I would recommend us use PNG images which don't have backgrounds. So what I'll do is I'll try and go and first let's go into let's go into Google. So I'll just take an image for example from Google right now. I have a lot of them with me as well. I'll, if I go ahead and I'll have to really look start looking with a lot of options here. So we'll go ahead and talk about layers, layers PNG. So I just want to have a layers PNG. I predominantly would like to have a little white color PNG uh, without background. That would be awesome. And if I'm not able to find a white color, then I'll go ahead and make a white color. So I, I guess this one is good. And this one is actually not white. But I would like it to be white. 
there. So what I'll do is I'll first save it on my desktop, and then I'll go ahead and do a Photoshop, a little Photoshop trick. Uh, you know, you could get these uh, icons designed from Fiverr.com as well if you want. But I tend to uh, use you know a little bit of Photoshop, so I like it. Uh, I like doing that. It's a very simple skill, which I, I mean, which we we do. We just load the layer here. And all we have to do is we just click on this by pressing the command option. By pressing the command or control option, just click on that layer, and then uh, you know you can change the color of this layer. Now it becomes white. You could make it of any color you want. Uh, you could literally go ahead and make it red or any kind of color you want. Okay, yellow, whatever you wish. Like you can actually do it. So I'm doing the following a white color thing. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, white is kind of my favorite with black on white, so that looks really nice and steady. So we'll save the image, and we'll go ahead and we'll say that this is a layer PNG layer, interactive layers PNG desktop, very well. Then we go ahead and we can go ahead and now we could either enter a URL of the image or we could upload the file. So guys, just hang on tight. I'm going to walk walk over through the questions as well. In the meanwhile, uh, sort of if you could see some questions you can answer, please make sure uh, you could reply to them in the chat. So uh, here we go. We'll actually upload this particular file, and now we could see that the file is pretty large, and the interactive layer is right there. Now what we could do is we could set the height and uh, width easily with the help of this dialog box, and we could do a little bit of thing. All right, so here we go. Choose what you want to do. You could say, uh, do you want to watch interactive layers tutorial? I'm going to say this. This is, let's say, this is interactive layer tutorial. And I'm going to make sure that this, when clicked, okay, this one's, once this is clicked, uh, you know, the, then it should play the video, which is interactive layer in elements, which is part one. Okay, so I have made this image clickable, and when somebody clicks on this image, the video of interactive layer and elements would play. Okay, we could also go ahead, uh, go ahead and you know redirect the person to a web page if you want, but we would like to actually keep it to the video first. All right, and now to actually make it more simpler, this may not be very convincing to the user. So what we'll do is we'll include another text on it, and we'll say that watch or like build interactive layers. All right, and we can go ahead and uh, we could take this text and have it. This text is fine. We could go ahead and again do the color combination, and we could have it for white here. So now what I've done is I've given a clue tip right here to the person, and the person can go ahead and click on build interactive layers, and the person would be guided to the video. Now let this is mind you. This is after the first tutorial of the dashboard. All right. So this is after the first tutorial of the dashboard. Or what do you want to do is replay the video. Or you want to replay the tutorial. Replay. I'm going to say replay PNG icon. So if I can find a white icon, that would be really nice. Okay. Again, uh, just to keep the symmetry aligned and not really become very fancy, we are looking for a uh, black and white combination. You could literally use any kind of combination you like, but I uh, would like to keep it very simple. Again, I'm not able to really find uh, the best option here. So what I'll do is, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll take this icon again. I'll go ahead and I'll use my Photoshop skills a little bit again and make it white. So you can even say, you know, if you are not able to find it like this, you could say uh, white as well. And then you'll be able to uh, find if there is a white icon available. I guess this is a white icon, but not the best of them. OK, anyways, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll try to put it, put a little uh, tweak of Photoshop and make it white. Again, I'll go here and I'll just say Command and you know select the layer and make it white. And then we are going to save it as a PNG, which would be without background. Now, a couple of you may be having access to Uzine. You can also do this in Uzine. All right? You can also do this in Uzine uh, without the background. If you're using Uzine, that's also a great option. 
so you can also build the similar things in your design. So now once we've done this, we could go ahead now and we could back, go, go back to the elements. Now we have three elements here already placed. We'll need to have two more elements now. We'll go ahead and say new element and we're going to say clickable image again. And we're going to say this is a replay image. And then we're going to enter either a URL or upload. I'm going to upload this time. We're going to take the white file again. So let's just see. Uh, this is a different one. So uh, my desk, sorry for the desktop. My desktop is pretty cluttered. So do you also get cluttered with the desktop, guys? I'm not sure. Am I the only one who gets cluttered with the desktop? Here we go. We found it now. Pretty cool. All right. I'm, I'm normally, you know, messed up with my desktop. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, once we have this, you could see there is the reseller, I mean, there is this particular part which we have done. And now what we could do is we could adjust the height again. And we could adjust a little bit of width. Make it a little bit more sexy. All right. And then we could have this particular option right here. All right. Uh, and we're going to say that this is a replay layer. Now we want to add, uh, make sure that if this is a replay, then you, the person goes again into the tutorial's intro. Okay. The person again goes into the tutorial intro. So the person can either replay or either go ahead to the next step. Okay. Now what we could do is we could go back to elements and just make sure we add another description of text here, uh, which is really necessary right now for people to understand what this icon means. And I'm going to go ahead and give it give it a name. I'm going to say this is replay text. And I'm going to say read. Pretty simple and pretty neat. We're going to set the text. And we're going to make it a little center line. Okay. So now uh, we could clearly see we have set this part way right now. Okay. If the person clicks on build interactive layers, he would be taken to the next tutorial. If the person clicks on replay, he would be able to go ahead and replay the video, which he has just watched. Now we could go ahead and save the changes. Okay. We could go ahead and save the changes. Now once we've done this, next thing which we could do is, we could go ahead now and go to the next video. So first is we have actually gone ahead and uh, built this video now. This was tutorial's intro. Now, if the person clicks on replay, then the person watches the tutorial intro again. If not, then the person watches the interactive layers. Now, obviously, we'll have to go ahead and uh, you know do it again. The next video would be this one, the second video. We could go ahead and click on edit. And similarly, now we could go ahead and create an interaction layer for the second video and so on. Okay, so we could go ahead and do this. Now, before I actually move to the next part of this uh, sequence, what I would like to do is I would like to invite my partner Saurabh, uh, you know, to have a little word with you so that he could introduce himself to you and both of us to, uh, to you and uh, take this a little forward. So Saurabh, are you there with us? If you could uh, just confirm with me and, uh, you know, let people know. Saurabh, uh, are you available? Okay, so I'm here. So Saurabh, can you just uh, unmute yourself and join in? Chime in if you can. Uh, give, it, give them a little introduction about yourself. Uh, All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if people can hear me or not. So you are I'm visible. Not. You are visible. Let, let people answer that. Am I audible? What are you? All right. So, yes, I'm able to hear you. So, guys, give us a one into the chat box if you can hear Saurabh loud and clear. Okay. So, I have Twilia, I have Douglas, I have John, I have Pete, Raymond, Lewis, John, Daniel, Lacey. So, we have a lot of people. And I, I don't know whether Gaurav told you or not, but uh, it was me who was the culprit why the webinar got started late today. 
and uh, not exactly the culprit but i came i came early but i'm not sure why the why my device was not opening the go to webinar panel was not able to open the go to webinar panel and uh, it got late so really sorry so it was not intentional it happened <coughs> so uh, so uh, <coughs> first of all welcome to interactive video suit bora has given a lot of description and a lot of uh, uh, training so the number one thing i would like bora to continue with the training but the number one thing which i would like to say is that uh, what was your first uh, mind mindset when you first got to hear about interactive video suit so anyone can come up with the answer you can come up with the answers i want to know the psychology and then i will give my psychology that why interactive video suit is going to help you in your business regular stay you are forgiven sorry <laughs> thank you regular i can see that people uh, can people love the feature if people love the feature of getting the interaction they uh, improve the conversions all right so that's that's something which is on the surface like at the top at the top of the surface which was there on the sales page but the number one thing is that just imagine right uh, uh, your viewers or your uh, visitors who are coming on to your site what they expect from you is something to do different from your side and whenever they see something different from your side see the the most important part that you have to consider is becoming an authority and when you are doing little things differently very small tweaks but you are you are doing things differently people can see that you are an authority in your space you are although the same video is there on another side but you are the one who are able to publish it in a different manner and then you start gaining the authority then people start remembering you it is not about just seeing you in the front end it is also about remembering you in the back end it is hitting the subconscious mind and when you are doing things differently people will start recognizing you people will start remembering you that yes this was something different right i i saw this kind of technology in uh, in certain uh, website and i would like to go there and buy from there because if they have a technology like that then they would certainly give me a advanced level product so uh, john says this is a very creative way to keep your audience attention and lead them to take action absolutely do the stats show how frequently different parts of the funnel are chosen or watched the stats show a lot of things so we will just show you uh, these stats while i will take care of it in the uh, uh, webinar itself and uh, I, i mean just uh, for example if you are running a weight loss campaign just an example and rather than showing the complete video to the complete audience what you can do is you can ask whether you are a man or a woman and then show the customized option to people who to men who click on men and to women who click on women so they even they would feel feel more engaged and they would feel more organized and personalized and obviously the percentage the chances of buying gets increased right so this is this is something which is able to increase your conversions in a massive way and also you are showing them the content what they want to see rather than showing the same video to everyone who is coming on to your site awesomeness says alison curd and then the voice is the voice training intermediate marketing training all right so douglas we have douglas he has already started making videos for transferring women to women video and men to men video and the voice is to the voice training and intermediate marketers to intermediate training so uh, douglas can you have me in the voice training please so uh all right so that's it for the little introduction and uh, let the training continue let let's let the learning begin once again and maybe i will join you once again in the end so gorav can you once again can continue the training sure thank you so much sora for enlightening us with your thoughts on interactive video suit all right so guys uh, let's continue back on this particular part where we were now so far what we have done is uh, we have go ahead uh, gone ahead and done the first part of the video right now the second part of the video is to go ahead and have the interaction layer and uh, elements this is the second video so what i would need to do is now i would need to create another layer for this particular part first layer is already done so now what i i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new layer so just i'm trying to complete the video and show you 
exactly what to do so that you have the entire walkthrough available instead of just a part of that. Okay, this is how we build, we build you know, uh, our videos, our funnels right inside in Fractal Video Suit and get most of the conversions. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is interactive uh, layers, layer part two. Okay, so this is going to be for the part two. And I'm going to say interactive layer. Add this layer. Again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, go to a little bluish color. That's as we are following a color pattern. And we could go ahead and have that pattern right here. So again, guys, uh, make sure that you follow a particular color technique or a color pattern. That would really be great for your branding. Match it with your site if you want. Okay, that would be really, really nice and steady. Now, once you've done this, you could go ahead and set the interaction layer time again. So I'm going to again include it towards the end. I'm going to include it almost towards 9 minutes and 35 seconds, let's say. And I'm going to say set the interaction layer show time. Again, now we go back to the video or interaction layer. You could see it has been set to the right time. So once you set the again interaction layer for the second video, now you need to go ahead and move to elements. And you're going to go ahead and set an element. Again, you're going to say clickable image. And we're going to again go ahead and say this is interactive layer part to image. Or like we'll say continue interactive layer lesson. Or rather, uh, interactive layer lesson. Yeah, that would be fine. And we're going to again say upload the file. Uh, we could go ahead and take the URL again. All right. So my bad, guys. I'm a little. Uh, I get messed up in this particular. Yeah, here we go. So I got it. So I'm getting a little messed up with this desktop. I'll for sure clear this today. And here we go again. We are coming back. So it's little. I'm going to make it a little faster this time. All right, because you have already seen once, so it would become a little boring for you guys. But this is how you go ahead and do it. So we go ahead and do this, and then we again add another text towards it. So we say, let's go ahead. So choose one. And we're going to say again here, choose one option. And we're going to go ahead and do a custom. All right, so this is just like we could go ahead and uh, keep on building more and more layers of it, depending on either you want to segment your audience or give them a guided walkthrough or whatever it could be. Let's go ahead into another element and uh, let's walk them new elements. Rather, we we'll do another text. Well, we are here, and we're going to say continue the lesson. All right, continue the next part rather. And we're going to again set the color. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to drop in the chat box. Saurabh is sitting right with us. Uh, he'll be able to take care of your questions in the chat box. So make sure to drop in any kind of questions you may have. Again, we'll go into clickable image. So, and we're going to say, my text layer. This was next part text. All right. Let's go ahead and have a clickable image now. Okay, we have been able to create a couple of clickable images now. So, so guys, in case you are uh, able, if you if you have multiple layers, you have duplicated the layers. You could also delete the element. So, example, I did right now. I was I actually messed up and did two clickable images instead of one. So what you could do is you could click on edit and you could delete the element if you want. So it is very simple. Just hit delete and the element would be deleted. So now we're going to say it's just replay. All right. And now what we could do is we could give them a replay. All right. 
And now once you're done with this, we could go ahead and could do certain things here. All right. So guys, now I've, I have a very brilliant idea, which I'm going to showcase it to you right away. OK? Uh, a very good idea, which I'm going to showcase it to you. So just hold on with me. In few seconds, I'm going to come on, come on to this idea. And that idea would be the last part of the video. I mean, that is an awesome idea. And I'm sure you're going to love it. So this is almost done in the last part of the video. So we can replay this fast part. And here we go. So now this layer is also done, guys. We are done with two layers. We're done with two layers. We'll go ahead and save it. OK, I, I mistakenly pressed publish or preview. Sorry. So we'll go ahead and just say save. Now our project has been saved. Now comes the last part of the video. Or even before that, I did one mistake. I have to go ahead and, for example, in this particular layer, uh, which I'm moving over, I need to make sure that this is the next part. It plays the video, which is the second part. And I go again in the back in the options, and I go replay the video. I'm going to make sure I play this video again. So now I've set the elements. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move to the last part of the video. I'm going to move to the last part of the video. All right. So we're done with the second part of the video already. OK. So now uh, what, once the person clicks on second part, OK, next we'll say we can again uh, duplicate this layer. Do you want to continue with this or not? And now what we'll do is in the last part of the video, guys, I'll skip the third part of the video. I'll move on to the last part. What I could do is let's suppose this is your product. Let's assume this is your product, and you're building a walkthrough video for your very own product. OK? So And you're building the tutorials for it. So what in the end you could do is, like what I'm going to do in this, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to say, upsell my masterclass. This is going to be the last part of the video. OK? So I'm going to go ahead and say, upsell my video or masterclass. So now people are already going ahead and going through the videos. Uh, and they're really realizing the power of interactive video soon. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them if they would like to upgrade or not. OK, so that's what I'm going to do in, in towards the end of the tutorial. A very beautiful way to actually uh, get more customers for your next upsells. Or you can actually cross-sell a product which you want to recommend. So I'm going to say this is the upsell text. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say, uh, would you like to take IVS powers to next level? Question mark. We're going to go ahead and do that. OK, and we're going to make it center aligned. And we're going to also make it a little uh, make a white color again. We are going to go like this, OK? And then we are going to have one of the buttons. Now, this is normal text. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have a button. All right? And we are going to customize this call to action button. And we're going to say this is my upgrade button. And I'm going to say join our interactive masterclass. Or, you know, uh, upgrade to upgrade to interactive masterclass. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, make the color again. Or, you know, uh, again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the color combination is correct and done right. So we can go ahead and set the element background colors. OK, now you'll see immediately what will happen is uh, you'll start seeing that it is looking really nice and steady. We could have a color. Uh, we could have an element border if we want. I really like borders at a lot. So I would like the border to be there. Then we'll also have some radius. Uh, the radius not required. Okay. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want a little bigger button. So I want a vertical padding. And I want a horizontal padding. And I want to increase the text size in this. I want to go ahead and increase the text size with this. Great. So now, so guys, now tell me, did you like this idea of upselling via interactive video suit? Tell me your comments into the chat box. So do you see the power right now? Just in the walkthrough video, what you could do is you could ask people that if they like if they would like to take the IVS powers to the next level. Just guys, let me know into the chat box, how about this idea? Would love to hear some views. So is this a good way? So what we can do is now we could go ahead and have our masterclass included here. So this would be our masterclass trial. This is a trial actually. Uh, masterclass, IVS masterclass, I guess. That was the URL. So guys, again, if you guys have not joined our masterclass, would love to invite you to join our masterclass. It is going to be super powerful. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to say edit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say that open a web page and we're going to just say open this link. And we're going to say save changes. So guys, where does this button link to an, a web page? Yeah. So Daniel, we link this button to a web page. You could see here we could link the button either to a video or a web page. And now I have linked my button to the web page. Okay, so I could go ahead and do a little bit of uh, better things here. Vertical padding, I could decrease this a little bit. Now it's looking pretty fine. And now I could go ahead and save this. So guys, you could see this is the, this, this easy it is, okay? This, e this easy. All right, so now once we have done this, we could go ahead now, now we have done our basic settings, right? Okay, now what we need to do is, we need to go ahead and have some uh, project name was, let's say, IVS Tutorials. And then we could either have it autoplay or we could have not autoplay and let it be just have a project thumbnail. Okay, so project thumbnail before play, I would say yes, show project thumbnail. And it's always advisable if you are uh, not doing the sales video. If you're not doing the sales video, then don't use the autoplay button. If you are doing the sales video, then it is advisable to have the autoplay button. Okay, so that's something which you can always do. Anyway, so now what I've done is I have put it up here right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to easily go ahead and quickly go ahead and have uh, use again use a little bit of my skills, uh, do a new layer, 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 and you know, uh, 1920 into 1180, uh, you could do a little. So we will go ahead and see if we can find a custom. Okay, so let's just take the screenshot of length of this particular size, and we'll build a powerful thumbnail. So guys, building thumbnails is altogether entire a different thing, but I'll just see how do I build three thumbnails. It's 690, it's 700 by 400, that's thumbnail size. So I'll go ahead and have it, I'll say this is 700 by 400. Let's quickly build a thumbnail. I'm gonna make it a little bit, again, a little blue. Okay, this blue is not that nice. A little bit more, lighter. All right, and then what I'm going to say is, I have a little thing text here. Okay. 
guided walkthrough. I'm going to just set the So this is just like you know building a thumbnail and all those things. You could easily do uh, this. I'm pretty sure uh, even Canva, which is a free tool, can be used to do these kind of thumbnails, which is pretty easy. So I'm just being, going to uh, you know trying to give you a complete walkthrough of the process that is involved instead of just a, a rough idea. So I like to use a couple of. I could use Arial. Uh, I could use a little. Yeah, this one, this one is fine. We could have 12, oh, okay. And we could have this guided walkthrough. And we could say duplicate the style. And we could say watch now. All right, so that thumbnail is done now. We'll go ahead and save it. So guys, this is just a little walkthrough of how the entire process is done. We can have a JPEG file, and we can say this is a thumbnail for the project. And then we could go ahead and have the thumbnail, upload the thumbnail right here. We could choose the file, and we could say where did we save the thumbnail. Not sure where did I save the thumbnail. Should be somewhere here. There we go. And now we'll have the thumbnail preview. It is uploading. All right. Now we have the thumbnail preview. Now all we have to do is what we have. We have done the basic settings as well. Now all we have to done is do is just save this video. Okay. Save this video and just say publish. Now, once you say publish, it will build a layer with all the interactive elements placed on top of it. It will build the layer with all the interactive elements placed on top of it. Mind you, I have not done yet the third layer. So the third layer is still pending here. Uh, but still, this would do a good job in giving you a very, you know, I mean, a clear example of how this is done so that you could actually delve deeper into it and build your own funnels. Now, in the meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll try to go ahead and take some questions. Do the show, uh, stats show? Okay, so we'll, we'll come to the stats in a while. All right, great. Awesomeness. Do we have the ability to add for tracking pixel to each click that people make so that we can get better analytics? Yes, Jimmy, we have that option. I'll show you. All right, uh, we go. If, if someone clicked on a button, is this recorded? Yes, that's recorded. Uh, you can actually watch how many people click the button. All right, you need to match the size of the images, put the new one directly over the existing image, and resize the sliders until they match perfect. Yes, that can be done. That's a good tip. I generally remember the pixel size, so that's a, that's a little easy. Can we get the replay? Yes. Uh, you will get the re replay or is it reply? I'm not sure. Anyways, guys, so I'll take the questions again in a while. So now we've got the code. Now what we've done is we've got the code. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'll have to take the screen off for a second because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the back end uh, of the panel and I'm going to put this to the training section. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm taking off the screen for a second, split second, and I'm going to place this. I'm going to go ahead and place this uh, code into the interactive uh, part of it, the interactive layer into the trainings, training part of it. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to say guided walkthrough. Okay, and here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here now. Okay, so I have actually saved this. Just give me a second. 
split second. So guys, in the meanwhile, uh, the next part of the next uh, agenda would be to show you the analytics. So don't go away. One of the powerful features I've shown you right here, how you could go ahead and make people upgrade. Okay, now I'm going to give the video in your hands to see how it is working. All right. So that would be there with you for to actually see. So I guess now this guided walkthrough should be available uh, in your, okay, so guys, now we could actually go ahead, and I could go back to projects. <clears throat> and now in the training section, you'll actually see something which is guided walkthrough. All right, now you'll see guided walkthrough right here. Now you can easily go ahead and watch the video in the guided walk. It would be in your dashboard already now. So guys, it's going to be in your dashboard, okay? And you can easily watch it on your IVS site already. So how cool is that? Now we'll go ahead towards the end where we put the interaction layer at three, four seconds. Here we go, you could see, choose what do you want to do now? Do you want to build interactive layers or do you want to go ahead and watch a replay? So I'll say I want to build interactive layers. So it will go ahead and play the next tutorial, which is interactive layers. Okay, here we go. That is going to talk about interactive layers now. Okay. I, I hope you have understood. So what I've done is I've made the video in front of you. And I actually go ahead and put this video inside the dashboard itself, where you can watch this video with a guided walkthrough, and uh, you'll be able to see how I built this video. All right, so guys, give me a little feedback. Give me one line of feedback. How cool is this? Tell me. Now you can also you can also upgrade if you want. Go ahead and upgrade to masterclass if you want. <laughs> you know you can add more powers. Saurabh will be your host in the masterclass and he will be talking about some really, really powerful features of interactive videos and how you can leverage it to the best potential. You guys are too cool. Thank you so much, John. I like it. Very cool. Cool. All right. Now, amazing. We're getting some great feedback. Amazing. So now, guys, who is excited to see the next part of the video? Who wants to go ahead and see the next part of the video, which is analytics? Give me a one into the chat box if you want to see the analytics. All right, all right, mine, one, 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 one. Can you show me on the screen how to duplicate a project? Duplicating a project is very simple. Uh, what you could do is you could go to all projects. Eric, you could go to all projects. And duplicating should not be an issue. You could just press on this particular part. You could click on this and you could just say copy. So Eric, all you have to do is you have to go into all projects screen and you have to just click on this and you have to say copy. And uh, it would duplicate the project. I'll just say copy. And what I'll see is I'll see another project which is right here, which is copy of health test. So that's how easy it is to uh, copy the project. Okay, where, where can we post IVS videos? Where can we post IVS videos? The IVS videos can be posted on your websites, uh, on your landing pages, on your funnels, every on your membership websites, everywhere, uh, which is your own self-hosted website. And anywhere where you have access to the code, wherever you have access to put a code, you can actually put that IVS video. All right. Thank you for showing duplicate. All right, I already purchased masterclass. Great. Can you post in Facebook? No, uh, no, no, no. So this is uh, this cannot be posted directly to Facebook. Facebook does not allow that, so that's not possible. Okay, great. 
So now uh, this is something really good. Now let's go to analytics, guys. Analytics. All right. So we're going. We are heading over to analytics, which is the next part of the session. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see. Uh, I'm going to show you first. Uh, you know how to set up analytics. For example, if I go to analytics, I'll, I'll, I would like to go to IVS tutorials. Okay. I would like to go to IVS tutorials. Okay. So right now there are two views, two unique views which I can see. And these are basic analytics setup of interactive video suit, tutorial video, the guided walkthrough, which I just made. Right? So this is that particular part right now. Just two views, two unique views, nothing else. Now what you need to do in order to set this up is you need to go ahead and this is the basic part, how many project views actually happen. Alright, this is the basic part. Second thing which we have is advanced true tracker events. Now, all through the call, what I have seen, the most asked question in the entire webinar or the walkthrough is, can we track the clicks on the elements? Can we track the clicks on the elements or not? The answer is yes, and how to do it is very simple. You have to just go ahead to true tracker events. You have to go to true tracker events. And you have to just say add new. All right. And you're going to say this is upsell button clicks. For example, I'm giving you an example. This is masterclass button clicks or upsell button clicks. So you can go ahead and write, give whatever name you want for your independent identification. This would not be visible to any user but to you only. Now, once you do that, you'll go ahead and say, is this a video? Is this an interaction layer or is this an element? We'll say this is an element. First, we'll have to select a layer. This would be the layer, upsell my masterclass. And then you have to go ahead and select the button. Now, once you do these four options, first select is it an element which you want to track or a video or an interaction layer? I want to track an element. Then select the layer on which that element is present. And then finally, select that particular element. Now, once you've done this particular part, all you have to do is you have to just say save the event. Okay. Once this event is saved, you could go ahead and say publish this event to the project. I just say publish this event to my project. Okay. Now, once I've done this, it is pretty easy. Now, this event has been published. So, first thing, what you need to do, step number one, is go ahead and create a true tracker element, true tracker event, sorry. So you have to go ahead and create a true track tracker event, all right? A true tracker event. Now, once you have created a true tracker event, you have to go ahead and you have to publish that to the project. And once you've done this, now what you could do is, here you see an option of new chart. If you really want to go ahead and get the stats, you'll have to go ahead and have a new chart. You have a new chart, you could either have a line chart or you could have a bar chart. Both of them works. I like to have a bar chart because that really makes, makes it look really easy for me, simpler for me. I'm going to say this is upsell clicks. All right. Or let's say master, say master class upsell clicks. And I'm going to say this is an event. All right, select an event, and you could clearly see I have a true tracker event right here. I have a true tracker event which we just published, which is masterclass upsell button flex. Once you do this, you could say time period in the last number of days, weeks, months, or years. You can decide that, and you could just say generate. Now, this particular chart has been generated, and now any particular click that would be done it would be recorded right on this chart. So guys, I would repeat the steps. Number one, create a true tracker event. All right. Second, publish the event to the project. And third is create the chart. Create the chart for the true tracker element. All right. Once you're done, you'll have your analytics, your own custom dashboard, your own custom analytics widget displaying the exact part which you wanted 
to display, to be displayed, or the exact analytics which you really wanted right at your fingertips. So guys, now tell me, how cool is that? So guys, now tell me, how cool is that? All right, we have very nice from Daniel. We have cool, but we need to be able to email these reports to clients. Uh, so what you can do is, Eric, a very simple way to email these reports to clients would be, I'll tell you a very simple way. So what you should do is, for example, let's go to the analytics for one of the videos. Okay, so what I'll do is, I'll go to the analytics for one of the videos, okay? And let's say I go to IBS front end video. If you want to really mail these, okay? So let's say you want to go ahead and mail this to your client, the all of it, okay? I don't have any two tracker elements here, but let's suppose you want to go ahead and mail this. So what you could do is, you could easily go ahead and take a screenshot of it, That that's one way. Or second way is you could say command P. You could say command P or control P. You could actually print this report. You could go ahead and just say control P or command P and you could say print this report. And you'll be able to actually, you know, go ahead and have just, you know, once you've done this, either you could print it off or if you don't want to print it off, okay, you could go ahead and just say save change the destination and say save as PDF. You could say save as PDF and now this PDF would be saved. This PDF would be saved. You could truncate the last page. You could easily see this last page can be truncated. Okay, and you could just go ahead and show these stats to your client. That's just an alternative way. I could just say save this PDF. I'll share it with, right now with you. IVS project stats. Let's say you want to share it with your client. I'm going to say desktop save. It is going to go ahead and save the PDF to my desktop. Let's see where we are. IBS project stats. This is just a, here we go. We have the stats with us uh, published in a, in a PDF document. Let's open that. All right, so here we go. That is right here. Now we could go and do the thumbnails and we could just delete the last page so that he's not really seeing the other things. And once he's done this, he could just say save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just upload this document right here to you to have a sample with you, okay? So that you could go ahead and use it for future. So right now I'm uploading this in the handout section where you can download this PDF. So how cool is that? So guys, how cool is this to be able to quickly go ahead and just put a as a PDF and mail it to the people. Automated emailing on daily basis is not really here right now. Uh, so that's Eric is not really here. But with the charts, you'll have the daily reporting possible. You could have the daily reports printed or taken screenshots and you could compile up in a PDF. So that's something which can be done. Uh, on on like it, it's just like a one minute work which can be done and which can be updated with everyday stats. All right, I just talk, talked about a cool way to go ahead and do this a turnaround. So guys, I'm a little chalked up right now. I would like to invite Saurabh to handle the questions. Saurabh, if you're around, uh, can you just come up, come on board and answer the questions which are here? I would love that help from you. So, my buddy Gaurav is now choked up. Well, he absolutely nailed the complete presentation. So, well done job, uh, Gaurav. And yeah, I'm looking at the questions right now. So, you can come up with the questions and if there's any part in the training which you missed or there's anything which you would like the clarity upon, then you can come up. So, Jimmy says, thank you. I have to go. Great job, guys. Thank you, Jimmy. And um, very nice meeting you, e-meeting you over here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Jason says uh, that the password is not working. And uh, all right, so Jason, what you can do is you can connect with me or either Gaurav on uh, Facebook. 
right and you can send to me uh, your uh, login credentials or in fact your login id and we will reset the password for you all right so just find me as by uh, sora bhatnagar or gorav madan on facebook and just contact us we'll do it for you all right okay that's the way to do it as a pdf perfect all right so uh, just come up with the question if you have any all right so uh, brian says can we edit cut paste a video with this app no you cannot edit cut paste a video with this app so what you can really do is you can uh, connect the different parts of video inside ibs so for the uh, editing or the uh, cutting the video you can use apps like uh, camtasia or imovie so these are the apps which are available camtasia is available in windows so and uh, imovie for mac So, uh, could an interaction layer at the beginning force a watcher to pick an option that pauses the video until they pick? No. What will really happen is that uh, you will have to cut the video in different parts so that <clears throat> so that the user has the option to click at a certain portion. All right. So, uh, you don't have the ability. The video will run in the background, but the uh, interactive layer will uh, be there on the screen. At all time, so uh, the video won't be paused. So just shoot the video until a certain point, or just trim the video until a certain point. All right, and then you can go ahead by by clicking of the particular option. And your another question is, can these interactive video can be posted on Facebook? Ah, uh, no, not really, because uh, Facebook does not allow the um, embedding of code. So what to publish these videos? what you have to do with really is embed the code and publish the code in your website so this is something which facebook does not allow so uh, so you cannot do it but again the optimum use of facebook is always to bring the traffic to the website so use facebook in a way that you always uh, wanted to do and uh, via having this video on your website you will be able to convert it better so not on facebook but yes on website and your the last question i can see is where are these videos hosted so let's say your video is hosted on youtube so it will remain hosted on youtube only what we are doing is we are just adding the a certain layer of code over your video all right even if you uh, if you will see the published code the published version you will see that the uh, hosting of the video remains the same whether it is the uh, s3 or whether amazon service or whether it is the youtube the hosting remains the same all right so is there a limit okay so you have a last question you have sent a paragraph of question <laughs> so is there a limit to how long can a video be no there is no such limit all right so brian i have seen all the questions of brian Okay, so Jason says, can you make a drag and drop feature to be able to make a visual mind map of how the videos flow? Drag and drop feature uh, to be able to make a visual mind map of the, how the videos flow. Not yet. So Jason, that's not in the plans right now. So uh, not something in our mind right now. But if this is something which user require, then we might think upon it. But yes, uh, you already have the tutorials. So, uh, so that's it of the current features. So that's it you can use for now. Okay, can you keep the video private on YouTube and still publish on to IVS? Now this is something which even we have not tested, but uh, I guess you would be. So you can keep the videos private, of course, and then you can publish it over here. I tried it with unlisted version. So in the unlisted version, I was able to do it. So I did not try it with the uh, private version. So again, the URL of the video will remain the same, so you will be able to make it up. So that's not a problem. So the answer is yes. Okay, and uh, all right. So is there any other question which I can take care of right now? Okay, so when you we upload to host on YouTube, how do we prevent the YouTube annotations from interfering with our IVS interactions? Don't include uh, annotations in that video, Alison. So 
that's it don't include the annotations otherwise it will come for sure so if you have a preset annotation or uh, that card which comes for every video in that case uh, what you have what you will have to do is just make a new channel on youtube which is uh, just a matter of two clicks and then you can upload the video on that particular youtube channel and don't have a preset card for every video apart from that you can have the option of uh, annotations for a particular videos so don't have the annotation for this particular video and if there is annotation for the all the videos which is the suggested card then don't host the video on that particular channel all right okay do we need to add any code in our blog or website for this video absolutely so uh, uh, let me just show it to you where well, i guess gorav has shown this part to you but just in case it was not shown so all right so where is my sharing okay change the presentation just wait all right so are you able to see my screen right now are you yes, able to see yeah we can see your screen sir Okay, perfect. So uh, the question, which is that uh, whether we can share the how how can we publish the code? So what you have to do is you have to log in to your IVS, alright, and from there what you can do is you can uh, go over to the uh, your project. So let's suppose I will open this particular project. Let's say IVS twenty, alright, and I will click on edit. So what I have to do is I have to get the published code. All right, I have to get the published code. So I will click here, and now the code is with me. So if you are using any kind of landing page builder or anything, you can publish this quite easily. So in our case, we use LaunchIglu. In fact, we use multiple of them. We use Convertly. We use uh, Optimize Press. So you can use any one of them. So what you can do is. Let's say uh, you can come here, and let's say I would duplicate any page so that it does not disturb my page. All right, and let me click on edit. So anywhere in your landing page builder, wherever you get the option to paste any kind of code, there you can do it easily. All right. So uh, what you can do is you can have something like this, alright. And over here, okay. So I have this custom option over here. So this custom option means that I can uh, put a particular custom code over here, alright. So whenever I will click over here, I have this option to put the custom code, as you can see. And if I will put it over here, my video, as you can see, it has started loading in this particular page. So that's it. That's the only thing that is required to be done. Well, hey there. Welcome to interactive. Well, hey there. Welcome to interactive video suite. Let me just close this page, alright. And I hope uh, I made it very clear. So this is how you do it. Well, hey there. Okay, so uh, okay, so we have some more queries. Upload to YouTube. That is done, and Tarun Shekhar has asked for the blogger website. This question is done. Web window. <laughs> yeah, in my case, we have web window. <laughs> And we have to add in WordPress. In WordPress, uh, uh, Bhatram, what I did is that I uh, installed the landing page builder and I installed it over there. So uh, you can try installing it in your uh, WordPress code. And otherwise, uh, you will have to install a landing page builder. So, so uh, uh, the code. Uh, you can try let, it me let me answer that question. So what you could do is uh, in the in the video as well in the tutorial section, I've shown that you could go ahead into any page whatsoever you are building on WordPress, 
you have two options there. Uh, sort of if you can open a post, there are yeah. two options. One is text and uh, one is visual. So you could go ahead and do the text part of it and you could just paste the code right there. So that's how uh, easy and simple it is to actually go ahead and execute your videos into uh, WordPress. So on the, on the text part of it, if you could see the visual yeah. and the text part. Right, correct. Yeah. This is the visual part where you can enter the normal text and this is the text part where you can have the coding part of uh, any set. So this is the coding part of the video and uh, in the visual portion we will have the uh, video over here. Right. So this is the IBS. Well hey there, welcome to Interactive Video Suite. I want to get straight to the point and share with you how Interactive Video Suite will double the conversions, triple the engagement. And so, so what has happened is sort of we have uh, enabled autoplay for this and that is why uh, it is actually playing again and again on every every time it loads up. So uh, let me just clear to the audience that how do we enable the autoplay. So this is the option inside the um, dashboard where you can enable autoplay or you can uh, disable it. All right. So if you want to keep it enabled you can keep it enabled and it will play automatically every single time. This is the technique which we use in the sales pages. So if you have any sales page, then you can use this particular technique. Uh, otherwise, if there is a normal video on the, I mean, if this is a normal video without the sales page, then don't use it. So this is a tip, a tip from my side. So you can enable or disable from here. And one very important tip, uh, what you have to do is that once you have published the video, all right, and just in case you want to uh, make any change in your video, so you will come back to the video inside the dashboard inside interactive video suite and from here you can make the changes inside the dashboard for example if you want to add any new element or new interaction or any sort of change. So the change would be published in your live page automatically. So you don't have to do the exercise once again, you don't have to copy the code once again and go to the website once again and publish the code. That will be done automatically. All right. So this is where we have made it simple. So we can take well, care of hey there. What? So this is how it looks right now in this particular website of mine. We can take care of the uh, uh, dimensions and it would be perfect. So this is how we can include in the WordPress. Can we use any video player says Brian. Any video player. So Brian uh, just like we had shown in the beginning. So what you can do is you can add the video from YouTube or you can upload the video from your Amazon account. All right. So I, in, just in case you missed that particular part. So what you can do is in the front, in the front part. Okay. So there is the option of adding the video. So what you can do is you can add a link of the YouTube video or you can have the MP4 video file. All right. So you can have the MP4 video file. You can upload the file and that will be uploaded to our server. All right. Or you can have any MP4 video from anywhere, wherever you like. So that's what you can do. Okay, so Bhatram says that uh, whether this will be tracked when the video is on YouTube. Yes, this will be tracked. So our true tracker will be able to track every activity which will happen over IBS. So whether the video is on YouTube or at some other place, doesn't matter. All right, so I can see, okay, Daniel says, thank you. I have to leave the presentation now. Thank you, Daniel. And thank you for attending the session. Okay, so, so Bhatram says, if someone downloaded my video and posted in their site, is that can be tracked? No, that is not possible, Bhatram. So, uh, what you can do is if you want to use the video in some other site so that you can do directly by publishing the code in multiple places but uh, if someone downloaded your YouTube video then just see the video is not yours the code uh, it is the code which is doing everything right so uh, when the code is not present in a certain, in a certain video then you cannot track 
So Ella says this is a great product. Thank you guys. Thank you Ella. So uh, yes, it took us time to build this product, but we know that yes, this is something which is going to help you in a very big manner. So thank you once again. All right. So any more queries? So we can come up with all the other queries which you might have. And uh, of course, you have the option to upgrading to the trial. So there is no option. There is no harm in upgrading to the trial of interactive video masterclass because in the masterclass, what we have done is we have taken care of the basic elements of making the videos interactive and engaging. So now you know, you already have the tool that which is interactive video suite to make the videos interactive by adding the interactive layers and buttons and all the other things. But the content. How to make the content engaging and interactive that is taken care in the uh, interactive video masterclass. There is a one dollar trial, which is uh, which is for uh, one dollar for seven days, and in, you can uh, what you can do is you can cancel at any time in between the seven days period, and your money would be refunded, and you won't be charged any more money. So uh, what we have done is in the one dollar trial, we have given the first module for free. All right. So the first module is for free in the one dollar trial. So, because we are so much confident with the first module only that you will be able to uh, upgrade to the actual uh, master class. So, this is how much we are confident about our videos. Jane says, "Very informative webinar today, guys, and thank you for a good presentation. Thank you, Jane, and uh, thank you very much." Okay, Patram says, "Can we have an affiliate link? Not for now." Because uh, what we really want to do is we want to take care of the initial customers which we have. So if you would go over to our sales page, you will see the option that we have closed down the sales. So we really want to take care of the present customers rather than focusing on the new ones. So no affiliate link for now. And John says thank you, Sora, for this tool. You can say uh, you can edit this and you can say thank you, Sora, and Gaurav for this tool. I really, really appreciate you and the team. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Okay, Alison says, uh, say again about the upsell. Uh, Gaurav, can you just send the link of the uh, trial, one dollar trial of the master class? Sure, I'm I'm sending it right across. Just give me a second. Thank you to everyone in the present in the uh, webinar. So all right, so guys, what I'm doing is I'm sharing the one dollar trial link uh, for the masterclass. Here is the one dollar trial for the masterclass. So sort of I have shared that already. All right, perfect. And Ella says, uh, can you make some interactive templates and sell to us different niche? Okay, Ella, that, that's a good upsell idea. We should have included that in the launch. So we can think about it. We'll just keep a uh, note it down, and we might come up with the interactive templates. All right. Thank you. Keep adding updates to this software. Look at uh, let clicks and make this software post postable to Facebook as well. As soon as the Facebook will allow us to post the code on the Facebook timeline, this software is already ready to post. The video on Facebook, but I know that Facebook won't allow because people will actually spam Facebook. So no chances coming up for that right now. Thank you guys, you are great. Okay, thank you once again. Thank you. And any more queries, any more questions? If you have, we are ready to answer. And we are always available on the support ticket. We are always available on the Facebook uh, group. So I'm not sure whether all of you are a part of our Facebook group or not. So let me just share the link of our Facebook group. So that would make the communication really easy. Just wait a second. All right. So I'm sharing the link of the Facebook group to everyone. So this is the link. So just come up here and send your request to join the group, and we will add you over here. The group name suggests that it is an Instagram mastermind group, which it was earlier, and now we are rebranding this group. So it was because of our previous product, which was Gram Push, we had uh, named the group as Instagram Marketing Mastermind. But now we are going to rename this group. So go ahead and join the group, and you will be connected with us 
24/7 all right any more queries bhatram says can be merged with netflix and ivs so he really desperately wants to post the videos on facebook but then you have to understand that facebook does not allow to publish the code on their uh, timeline right so until this can happen we cannot do anything but so, uh, one is what you can do shrikar is you could uh, build a thumbnail image or you could uh, build a image uh, or you could say clickable image for your page where your video is hosted and then you could have that uh, clickable image posted in your fan pages and everywhere where if somebody clicks on that particular thing it would he would be redirected to your own website where this interactive video would be hosted so in that way you could merge both the softwares and really profit from it and alison is asking we play of this that will be sent to you via the emails so stay connected and you can add an email as the contact in your gmail if you are using gmail and the email will be sent to you within next 24 hours within next 24 hours that is the maximum alright okay uh, alison said uh, whether you guys are gram coach that's awesome yes we guys are gram coach and just to make sure that everyone knows that r is the one of the only applications in the world right now which is running the auto features of instagram if you would know that instagram became quite serious in the previous days and it had shut down all the applications in the world but yes we managed to find a workaround and we are running so any more questions any more queries so we are ready to answer thank you thank you i can see the thank you messages all right so uh thank you guys thank you so much everybody for joining both me and sarab on this call i hope you bring out some amazing case studies out of interactive video suit do let us know if you have any troubles on uh, at our support desk the url is present in the dashboard or you could mail to support at the ritikotech.com and uh, any closing thoughts sarab uh yeah uh, if you if you come up with actually good interactive videos then we would like to see the case studies featured in our facebook mastermind group so you can post your case studies in our facebook mastermind group the link has already been sent to you and we would like to see your videos and actually learn from you and we would like to share the same video with the whole community if you would like so we want to make our group a healthy community by sharing all the digital activities so you are free to welcome as soon as it is as much as it is valuable all right guys thank you so much thank you everybody for joining us for the call uh, have a great day ahead have a great evening ahead and we'll catch you on the next webinar have fun and have a great day ahead